awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes. And today, I'm going to try out a couple of new products that I haven't used yet. And I'm going to give you my first impressions on them. And the two products that I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on is the Mauves by Juvia's Place and my Fenty Beauty by Rihanna in the shade Purple and Pink Highlighter. And real quick, I'm going to show you everything else I'm going to be using to finish off my look trying something new, trying to figure out where I need to put in, because, like, people ask me occasionally, so I'm just trying to put it all out there, so that way, if you're curious, you know. So, I'm also going to be using the, um, Malay Sunkiss blush, and don't mind the little fingerprints, can tell that gets used, and this is what that looks like. I'm going to use my Kylie Jenner bronzer and um, kayak and khaki. And khaki, that's what somebody told me. It's khaki. And that is what that looks like. I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Splash Mascara. And that is what the wand looks like. Just got a little bit of my damn thumb. Going to use my Touch and Soul Velvet Lipstick in the shade. Is there a shade? I think Velvet Lipstick is the shade. I think Pretty Filter is the name and Soul Velvet Lipstick is the shade. I could be wrong. It could be the other way around. But, and there is that. And I have already did my eyebrows with my eyebrow bar by Remy. Rema. Rema. I don't know. I think. I thought it was Rihanna, but I Googled it the other day and it's not. So I've been saying the wrong name this whole time, like an idiot. But, anyways, let's get into this. So the Mobs by Juvius. It's more of a pinker toned. Um that's what it looks like and no mirror plastic thingy and those are the shades that I get to work with today and I don't even know what I want to do yet so we'll see so first thing first here are the swatches these are the colors starting from here going that way and then down they do not have any names that I could find, so, and this shade here, I had to swatch twice to build it up, but there's that. Let's go ahead and start off with this color here for the base, but I bring out the piggy mirror today. So, how are you doing? Do you, oh, my dogs are fighting. Just a minute. Oh, never mind. They stopped on their own. <laughs> That's the first. They are getting out of there, I guess. I have three. <laughs> to change the subject. Anyways, I was going to say, after I said, how are you doing? And I do like, I think I fucking stopped there, but um, I do like to hear from you. I'd like to know what's going on in your life. If it's a good day, if it's a bad day, if it's an okay day. I like to hear all of that, actually. And anyways, my dogs, they always be interrupting me. We have four puppies and three boys and one girl. And, um, well, the boys are coming into adult manhood, I guess, where their balls drop. From what I understand, from what I've read on the internet, like seriously, that's what they, the internet says, that when their balls drop... Then they start to fight with one another to determine who is going to be the alpha. And they need to understand, I'm going to be the alpha. They're not going to be the alpha. <laughs> this is my house, damn it. But so now all the boys are fighting with each other, so it's a pain in the butt. Now, I am going in very light-handed with this. Um, 
as you can probably tell, there's not much color, so I'm going to go on just a little heavier handed. I do have a couple of other palettes, and they're very pigmented, so I wasn't sure. So it looks like this particular palette is not as pigmented, because I dug into that, like, look, you see that in my brush? And it's not paying, giving me very much payoff for color, even though it is going to be like my base color. What if I didn't want that to be my base color? You know what I mean? I'm going to use this shade here and hopefully it's a tad bit darker than the other one. I'm hoping. Um, oh, much. Okay. That's good to know. Now, there is fallback or kick out or whatever you want to call it, um, pull out. I do have a little bit right here from the second shade that I used, and there is in the pan. Um, so keep that in mind for those of you that don't like that. So what do you guys think of my new backdrop? I actually love it. I love hearts. I love hearts and I love um, butterflies and dragonflies, I think is what they're called. Um, but anyways, like, I don't know why I said I love the butterflies and the dragonflies, but I love hearts and I was on Amazon and I was looking for a heart background and most of them for, for like, you know, um, Valentine's day and you know, Valentine's day is fun and dandy and all, but I don't want to use it just for the month of February or the first 14 days. You know, I want something I can use all year long. And I finally, finally, after like a month of searching, came across a heart backdrop. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm going to use this color here. And I just tapped it. I'm just going to tap it here. I just want to kind of darken that spot up just a little bit right here in the corner of my mouth. Maybe that, that has a lot of fallout too. Let me. So I decided to grab another brush and here is that brush. It is a Moda brush. I'm using the same color, but I'm going to put that in the crease a little better. Oh, and it's not doing that. It. Okay, so hmm. let's have this brush here that I got from Glam Light. It's a powder brush, but I hardly ever use powder. But I tell you what, it works great to lift up that fallout from your eyeshadow. So, if anybody didn't know you could do that, now you do. So, I'm very, very disappointed right now. This swatched really dark, like, remember? And it's not even coming on that dark on my eyes. Like, this is super annoying, but oh well. Hmm. Well, fuck it. I just want to do this over here. Just to put the same amount. I mean, because it's darkening a little bit, but it's like not even building it up. Hmm. Well, son of a beach. Really, I really expected a lot more from this palette because I've used a couple other palettes and I was very impressed with them. Um, I've used, let me see, I've used the Warriors by Juvia's Place and I've used the, is it Violets? Yeah, it's right here. Um, the Violets by Juvia's Place and very pigmented, didn't have to use eye primer, colored, lasted all day. <clears throat> it wasn't like this at all. And I even switched brushes. So let's move on because that's not doing what I want. Then I'm going to use this shiny here. And I'm just going to use my finger. And let's see if this is going to work. Oh, good. At least that's working. Very good job. 
So I just think I'll put that all over my lid, actually. I normally don't, but why not? Okay, I'm do that other side really quick. While the shimmer and shine goes on very lightly, it does seem to be buildable. Do you want that? I like that. I like being able to build it. So let's keep that in mind. And if you don't like very, very bright colors and you like a, um, you know, uh, what the hell am I thinking of? Um, not such a popping look, you know, more neutral, more natural, more um, basic, I guess, look, which is nothing wrong with. Some people like basic. I don't. I like popping. And if I wanted basic, I'd wear browns, I guess. So um, let's just move on. I'm going to be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back and we're going to try this Fenty Beauty Highlighter. That is what it looks like. I did swatch it the day I opened it, but I have not wore them yet. So I'm going to use the pinker shade today. I don't know if they have names on them. Oh, they do. This is, um, the pink one is Seven Day Weekend. And the purple one is pull sign, but we're going to do the weekend one. I have this little brush here, and I'm going to use that. So let's see. I don't even know if it'll work with the brush. We're gonna find out. Oh, yes, it does. Very pretty. Okay. See that? Ooh. I'm just gonna try to blend it in a little bit. It's so funny because like some of the um MUAs that I watch, they're like highlight is supposed to look like it's part of your natural skin and da 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 da. -da. Well why in the hell do they make it in different colors then is what I'd like to know. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is my finished look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I think it turned out eh. okay. I'm more excited from here down. My eyes pissed me off, honestly, because I wanted a more popping look. But this palette just isn't going to do that for me. And it's a shame because Juvia's Place is great for the other palettes that I have. But a quick question before I leave for those of you that watch my videos all the way through. Now, I do know some of you wouldn't have a problem with this, but I'm wondering how many of you wouldn't. I have tons of eyeshadow palettes that I have used and I don't like. And the ones that I really don't like go to my granddaughter, but she doesn't need 50 palettes. You know what I mean? She's already got like five or six, and that's going to take her a while to play through them. But would you guys be interested in me doing a giveaway with my slightly used palettes? Because I don't need them. Just let me know. This ain't a giveaway video, but if there's enough people that are like, yeah, um, I'll use your slightly used makeup. And right now it's just palettes that I want to get rid of. There's a handful of them, up to maybe like 10 of them, maybe a little more, I don't know, but I've been like, what do I do? Do I donate them? Do I give them to somebody? How about you guys, the people that support my channel, the ones that I love? So if you would be interested in trying to win a future giveaway of palettes that have been slightly used by me, let me know down in the comments below. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out, awesome crew. And I'm sorry about these damn dogs. I know you can hear them.